Hello and welcome to this summary video about the book The Dispossessed by Ursula K. Le Guin. Le Guin is a renowned science fiction and fantasy author, and The Dispossessed is one of her most celebrated works. It's a thought-provoking novel that explores themes of anarchism, capitalism, and revolution. The book has won multiple awards and has been hailed as a masterpiece of science fiction literature. In this video, we'll give you an overview of the book and its main themes. Let's get started. Plot Summary The Dispossessed tells the story of Shevik, a physicist from the anarchist planet of Anares, who travels to the capitalist planet of Euras in search of new ideas and collaborators for his work. The novel alternates between Shevik's present experiences on Euras and his past experiences on Anares, providing a deep exploration of both societies and their contrasting values. On Anares, Shevik grows up in a society that has rejected capitalism, hierarchy, and individual ownership. The planet was originally settled by anarchists who sought to create a society free from the constraints of traditional power structures. Shevik is a brilliant physicist who seeks to build a device that will revolutionize communication across the universe, but he faces resistance from his fellow anarchists who fear the implications of such a technology. Shevik eventually decides to travel to Euras in order to find collaborators who will help him build his device. On Euras, Shevik faces a completely different world. The planet is divided into multiple nations, each with their own political and economic systems. Shevik is initially welcomed by the people he meets on Euras, but he soon realizes that he is being used as a political pawn in the complex power struggles between the nations. Shevik also encounters Arasti citizens who are critical of their own society and seek to create change, but they are often met with violence and oppression. Throughout the novel, Shevik struggles to reconcile his experiences on Euras with his values and beliefs as an anarchist from Anares. He sees the ways in which Euras is corrupted by capitalism, nationalism, and authoritarianism, and he begins to question whether his own society on Anares is truly free from these forces. Shevik faces challenges as he tries to navigate a society that is built on hierarchies and power structures, which are foreign to him. Meanwhile, on Anares, the absence of Shevik creates political unrest as different factions vie for power and influence. The setting of the book is a commentary on the possibilities and limitations of different types of societies, and it serves as a backdrop for the novel's themes and conflicts. Ultimately, Shevik must decide whether he will continue to pursue his work and his dreams of creating a better society, or whether he will return to Anares and engage with the political struggles that are unfolding there. The novel ends on an ambiguous note, leaving readers to ponder the possibilities of revolution and change in different types of societies. Characters The Dispossessed features several main characters, but the most important is Shevik, the physicist from Anares. Shevik is a brilliant scientist who is passionate about his work and committed to the anarchist principles of his society. He is driven by a desire to create a better world and believes that scientific progress can help achieve this goal. Shevik is also conflicted about his loyalty to Anares and his desire to collaborate with the people of Euras. Other important characters in the book include Takvar, Shevik's partner and a fellow anarchist, Sabul, a Rasti woman who becomes Shevik's friend and collaborator, and Badap, a revolutionary on Anares who opposes Shevik's ideas. These characters all have complex motivations and relationships, and their interactions drive the plot of the book. Setting The Dispossessed takes place in two distinct settings, Euras, a wealthy and capitalist planet, and Anares, a barren moon settled by anarchists. The contrast between these two worlds is stark, Euras is characterized by wealth, power, and hierarchy, while Anares is a society built on mutual aid, cooperation, and equality. The setting of the book is important because it shapes the characters and their beliefs. Shevik's journey from Anares to Euras is a pivotal moment in the book, as it allows him to see firsthand the stark differences between the two societies. On Euras, Shevik faces challenges as he tries to navigate a society that is built on hierarchies and power structures, which are foreign to him. Meanwhile, on Anares, the absence of Shevik creates political unrest as different factions vie for power and influence. The setting of the book is a commentary on the possibilities and limitations of different types of societies, 
and it serves as a backdrop for the novel's themes and conflicts. Themes The Dispossessed is a novel that explores many important themes. One of the most prominent is anarchism, which is the political philosophy that inspired the society of Anaires. The book examines the strengths and weaknesses of anarchism as a system of government, and it raises questions about the viability of anarchism in the face of outside pressures and internal divisions. Another major theme of the book is capitalism, which is the economic system that dominates Euras. The Dispossessed is a critique of capitalism, and it argues that capitalism is built on exploitation and inequality. The book explores the ways in which capitalism can warp relationships and create power imbalances between individuals and groups. Finally, The Dispossessed is a novel about revolution. The book shows the different ways in which revolution can be imagined and enacted, and it raises important questions about the nature of revolution and the role of violence in achieving political change. The novel ultimately suggests that revolution is not a one-time event, but an ongoing process that requires constant attention and effort. Style and Structure The Dispossessed is written in Ursula K. Le Guin's signature style, which is characterized by clear prose, sharp dialogue, and vivid descriptions. The writing is precise and thought-provoking, and it captures the complex ideas and emotions of the characters in a powerful way. The book is structured in a non-linear way, with flashbacks and jumps in time that create a fragmented narrative. This structure reflects the novel's themes of revolution and change, as it suggests that the past and the present are constantly in conversation with each other. The structure of the book also allows for a deep exploration of the characters and their motivations, as it allows the reader to see different moments in their lives and how these moments have shaped them. Reception and Impact the Dispossessed has received widespread critical acclaim since its publication in 1974. The book won the Nebula Award for Best Novel and the Hugo Award for Best Novel, and it has been hailed as a masterpiece of science fiction literature. The novel's exploration of anarchism, capitalism, and revolution has been praised for its depth and complexity, and the book has become a touchstone for readers interested in political science fiction. The impact of The Dispossessed on literature and culture has been significant. The novel has inspired countless readers and writers to explore the possibilities of science fiction as a tool for imagining alternative futures and societies. The book has also been read as a commentary on the political and social issues of the time in which it was written, and it continues to be relevant today as a meditation on the possibilities and limitations of different types of societies. Conclusion in this summary video, we've explored the book The Dispossessed, a science fiction novel by Ursula K. Le Guin. We've discussed the plot, the characters, the themes, and the style of the book, and we've examined the critical reception and cultural impact of the novel. Overall, The Dispossessed is a powerful and thought-provoking novel that challenges readers to think deeply about the possibilities and limitations of different types of societies. It is a book that raises important questions about anarchism, capitalism, and revolution, and it offers a nuanced exploration of these themes through its characters and their experiences. We hope that this summary video has piqued your interest in The Dispossessed, and that you will consider reading the book for yourself. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe for more summaries and related content.